What's it like being a union leader and a mother and having a real life? I asked Mary Blewett. Here's what she had to say. I read that you're a tough negotiator when it comes to union affairs, but there's another side to your life too, that you are the eldest of 13 children. I am, uh, and in many uh, uh, ways I think people say it was a fantastic uh, training ground uh, for the job that I do now. I've been an organiser since four years of age when I first uh, uh, made beds and organised uh, the, the, the brother and uh, two sisters that I had at that stage. Um, but also uh, being able to negotiate, conciliate uh, and to um, get along with a, a, a real range of uh, people because brothers and sisters are always very different. It is a, a big responsibility being the eldest of, of any group but uh, eldest of 13 was probably overdoing it a little bit I thought from my parents point of view. Just um, to look at this personal side of being a political leader and a union leader as you are, you're a keen netballer, you're a netball umpire, referee as well. Do, when you go out playing netball, do they talk to you about union affairs and about teaching? Some do, and, uh, and um, uh, uh, sometimes I'm actually anonymous on a netball court, and, yeah. and that's a great thing too. Uh, you get to talk to people and about different things and, and different ways, and, and uh, I like to enjoy my netball not just in terms of the physical side and but the comradery of the, of, of the team. It takes me out of uh, the day-to-day uh, -day hurly burly and puts me in, in a different space and different time, and I love it. You're in a political world where you're bluing with a government and you see trade union leaders demonised as they were by the Liberal government at the last federal election. What does it make you think or how do you feel about that? There's a political investment in uh, demonising uh, union officials and, and particularly in, in uh, my case where you're an employee of, uh, of, of government. I'm uh, absolutely committed to the important role that uh, unions play. But being a, the head of the education union, it allows me to also um, continue the passion that I have for public education and the difference that makes to uh, so many people's uh, lives. Well, that's not the picture that John Howard and his mates painted of union leaders prior to the 2007 election. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing Mary Blewett up close and personal. But now back to the streets. Casey Dickey is out and about as always, and she's got some interesting stories for us. Hi, I'm Casey and welcome to Union News. This week we're down at Victoria Dock where the Sea Shepherd vessel, the Steve Irwin, is berthed and will be here for the next two months. If you'd like to come and check it out, you can do so from Wednesday till Sunday, 10 till 5. They're doing tours on the hour, every hour. Be sure to be watching next week's show as we take you on a tour of the Steve Irwin and interview Captain Paul Watson as well as some of the crew. Thanks for watching. Good on you, Casey. And as always, thanks for joining the Union Show. If you want to email us or you want to find out more information, just go to those addresses on your screen. And of course, we look forward to having you with us next week when we break all the big stories. And remember, take care of your family and friends and look after your workmates. It's the only way to do business.